Good morning, happy Tuesday to you. I'm grateful for you watching and tracking along as we're navigating through the New Testament. We've really made a lot of progress since March. You know, this started at the pandemic when we, when we were pushed back into our homes and I was trying to figure out what in the world am I gonna do to help our church? How can I encourage them? How can I help them out? And so all I did was take my soap verse of the day and figure out a way to write a short devotion to it and share that on video with you. Many of you have been with me since the beginning. Some of you have joined ever since. And I'm just grateful for your comments and encouragement, your likes, even though I don't really care about social media. I love that you're engaging with this. And we're finishing up another book already, First Thessalonians. Uh, that's where we're at. Chapter 5, verse 11. I've been looking at how this text and this letter tells the Thessalonian church how to respond to a culture that was leaving them or not interested in the church. It's really spoken to me over these last five devotions. And today's uh, verse for me is verse 11. Therefore, he says, encourage one another and build each other up just as you have always been doing. Encourage one another and build each other up. I, I thought about that. And one of the reasons people are leaving the church and the community of faith and not even giving Christianity a chance in their life is because the Church of America has made it all about buildings. The word building or church in the New Testament was always about the assembly of believers. It, it had nothing to do with buildings. In fact, they seldom were in a building. It had to do with the assembly of believers and the group of believers in that location, in that town. And so Paul's telling the church to do what they were called to do as a church. You know they are Christians by their love. Build each other up. See, we've been learning the last six months that buildings aren't crucial to worship. You can worship without a building. But what you can't worship well with is a lack of assembly. Like, I've noticed when we worship outside, it's not the same as inside. There's things that we lose in the, in the moment, in the experience of it. But what's great is we have connection and we gather to draw the Holy Spirit into our lives together. One thing that happens every time we assemble is the encouragement and a community that we build by being gathered together. We've been learning that throughout this pandemic. Family needs to assemble for it to grow. Work needs to assemble, meet regularly, connect to grow. And for sure, churches do their best work when we build each other up and connect and grow together. Can we do it on Zoom? Absolutely. Can we do it in broad, worship broadcasts? Probably. But it's so much more practical and helpful when we do it life on life. And that's why Paul finishes up his letter with this last instruction. Don't quit doing the thing that makes us a church. Encourage and build each other up. You can tell a great church, not by its pastor, not by what goes on on stage, not by the music it plays. You can tell a great church by the level of encouragement and building up they do for each other. And I want Journey to be that kind of church. And I want this broadcast, this devotion to be that kind of church for you. So I encourage you today, I build you up with that reminder that we are the church. So build people up today. And you will find yourself not in a building, but in a church. God bless you. Have a great day. We're going to look into the next uh, book tomorrow, 2 Thessalonians, finishing up the week. So I'll look for you then. Have a great week.